The purpose of this video is to give you a high-level overview uh, so you can get an understanding of what Romberg integration is. Now, uh, before we can really understand uh, Romberg integration, we also need to look at Richardson extrapolation. Richardson extrapolation is basically a special case, and then we generalize it to get Romberg in integration. First of all, um, we, we have a case where we're doing integration, right? So this is the unit on integration. We're doing an integration problem over the interval from A to B, and I've labeled the interval here, A to B, and we're doing the integration over this interval, and let's say we do this integration over this interval, and we just use two trapezoids for the first time. So if we use two trapezoids, and then we'd go back through and we do it again, but the second time, instead of using two trapezoids, we use four trapezoids, so we use twice as many. Uh, then what we can do, and what Romberg integration does, what Richardson extrapolation does, is says we can put these two things together. We can put these uh, approximations together and we can weight them in an intelligent way so that we get a more accurate result. And this can be seen by looking at the equation. So if you look at the equation, just some integral i, and this is an exactly equal to sign, right? The integral i is equal to the integral with some step size hj, and so I've just arbitrarily labeled this step size hj and this step size hj, hi. So it is equal to the integral with some step size hj plus the error um, of the integral using that step size. Okay, so that's then um, no problem here. We haven't made any approximation. That is our, uh, our integral. Well, what it turns out that yes, using an approximation, so we should have approximately equal to here. Using an approximation, we can say that that's equal to the IHJ part says the same, but we can approximate the error just based on, we can approximate the, the error based only on the things that we know. The I's, um, IHJ and IHI, those are our two estimates of the, our two integral estimates, and the step sizes. So only with that we estimate this error term, and so that estimation then, where we estimate the error term, then we can get a more accurate representation of our integral and we'll have a much smaller error because we approximated this error here. And if our approximation was good, we're going to be very accurate. And I'll show you how good we get here in a minute. But just just to go further with this example, if hi is equal to 2hj, so here we have hi is twice as long as hj, right, because I have I have four evenly spaced intervals here, and it's the same integral. It's the same interval a to b. I have four inter evenly spaced segments here, and I only have two here. So h i was twice h j. That's what I've drawn. Then the the equation is i equals four thirds i h j minus one third i h i. So what we're doing then is taking this approximation and we're weighting it by minus one-third, and we're taking this approximation, and we're weighting it by, um, by four-thirds, and that result, that weighted sum, then gives us an approximation uh, to the integral i. And it just so turns out, it, it turns out that the error estimate um, for, for just, using, um, just using the trapezoid rule was order h squared, but using this improvement, uh, this Richardson extrapolation improvement, we can move it from order h squared to order h to the fourth. So we drastically decrease our error, and we do it only with, if you look here, we've only f evaluated the function two more times. That's all we had to do is two more function evaluations to get, um, to get our interval, or to get our integral estimate. Now, uh, I've written out here so you can see the general uh, equation. So this is the general equation, the general um, the Romberg integration algorithm, Romberg integration. Algorithm. And again, um, Romberg integration is a generalization of Richardson extrapolation. It's a multiple application of it, successively smaller. And so this is the equation right here. This is the general equation. Okay, 
So we get i, j, k is approximately equal to 4 to the k minus 1 i sub j plus 1 k uh, plus 1 minus i, j, k minus 1 over 4 to the k minus 1 minus 1. So if we just apply this then back to the situation where we had uh, where we where we were having our step size was just um, 4 times uh, i 2 1 i 2 1 that's our that's our um, uh, i 2 1 minus i 1 1 over 3 so these these are the two interval estimates so you can see that we've recovered uh, the exact same thing that I showed you here so this then is the specific case uh, for that, I'm just showing you. Now, uh, I said now this this is a uh, this is a table from Figure uh, 22.3 in the book. And as I mentioned, we're moving from the error. We're reducing it from error of the order h squared to order h to the fourth, which is going to drastically reduce the error. But um, this just shows that we can do that again with two estimates uh, that are order h to the fourth. This estimate you see it right here, that's order h to the fourth, and then this estimate that's order h to the fourth, we can combine those, and then we can further reduce our error until it's on the order of h to the sixth. We can then combine two, er two approximations that have an error order h to the sixth, and we can reduce our error further to uh, h to the eighth. And so this is Romberg integration, and Romberg integration is then an extremely efficient way of representing uh, or a, an extremely efficient way of approximating the integral if we're allowed to evaluate the function exactly where we want. Specifically, we're going to do it on these uh, successively refined uh, grids. Now, I you could, in theory, do this with tabular data, but in practice, tabular data doesn't doesn't fall this nicely, and so it doesn't turn out to be so useful. So this is. Uh, generally considered then an algorithm that's suitable when you can evaluate the function where you want and it's great because we get very high accuracy with few function evaluations.